Today on Amazing Dinosaurs, we are checking out 100 Jurassic World figures. I've got Camp Cretaceous, I've got Jurassic World Dominion, there's Fallen Kingdom, and a whole lot more. The first figure is this giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got a dark green body with the yellow underbelly and the black top and a button that activates the jaw. This figure is the Dino Tracker Series Endoraptor. Check it out. And there's a button on its back that activates the jaw too. Here is the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus. This figure is ginormous. And it's got the button at the top of its head to activate the jaw. Over here we've got another Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This one's a little bit smaller. It's got the brown coloring and the jaw attack button. This is the Dino Tracker's Sino Tyrannus figure. It's got two buttons on its back, one to activate the jaw and one to activate the tail. Here is the Suchomimus figure with the dark blue and yellow coloring. It's got the big spine running down its back and an attack button for its jaw. Here is an old Jurassic World figure. This one was actually custom painted to be red and black and it has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. This is the Carcharodontosaurus figure with the blue, orange, and brown coloring. This is the Albertosaurus figure in the green and orange coloring and it has an attack button on its tail to operate the jaw. Next up is the Sound Surge Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic World Dominion. Here's another Dino Trackers figure. This is the Diablo Ceratops. Check out that awesome red coloring and this action button that moves its head. This Pteranodon figure, I believe, is part of the Amber Collection. It actually has rubberized wings, so it feels really realistic. This is the Rowdy Roars Carnotaurus figure. It's got the classic coloring for a Carnotaurus and an action button for chomping. Here is the gigantic Tracker Stegosaurus. It comes with this cool backpack feature, and it has two buttons on its back that swing the tail up and down and back and forth. Here is a classic Baryonyx figure with the reflective blue coloring on the top of its head. Next up, we've got a Cryolophosaurus figure in the bright yellow coloring with the brown and orange detailing. This figure right here is a Spinosaurus. This is a basic figure, so there's not a whole lot you can do with it, but you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. Here from Jurassic World Dominion is an Iguanodon figure. It's got the soft tan coloring and an attack button when you press down on its back. This figure is a Kentrosaurus. It looks quite a bit like a Stegosaurus, but it's got these huge spikes on the side that you can swing back and forth. This figure, I believe, is called an Edmontosaurus. It's got some pretty cool coloring and you can use the tail to control the head. Next up, we've got a basic Velociraptor figure in the orange color. You can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. Here is the dark green Ceratosaurus figure. It has a slide lever action on its back to activate the sound effects and its chomping action. This is a Triceratops figure in the brown, blue, and dark blue coloring. And on this figure, you can move the tail to move the head around. Here is an older and pretty rare Jurassic World figure. This is a hybrid Tyrannosaurus and Dilophosaurus. Check out that super bright coloring. Up next, we've got a Cynoceratops figure in the soft green coloring. And this figure features the tail that you can use to move the head around. This next figure is an Allosaurus in the gray and yellow coloring, and it has an attack button on its back to chomp its jaw open and closed. Here's a dinosaur figure that I don't have that many of. This is a Concavenator. It's got a huge spine on its back that actually you can press to swing its tail back and forth. Plus there's an action button on the front of its back to chomp its jaw open and closed. Here is a Pteranodon figure with foldable wings. And when it's fully expanded, it's probably over a foot long. Plus, there's a button on its back to flap its wings back and forth. Here is a miniature Indominus Rex figure with a little bit of battle damage on its side. I've also got this older Jurassic World Allosaurus figure, and it looks quite a bit different from the new Allosaurus figures that Mattel is releasing. 
Up next is a miniature Dilophosaurus figure with the purple and some bright yellow, red, and orange. <laughs> this is a Moros Intrepidus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the green, orange, and white body. Here is a Velociraptor Beta figure. It's got the classic blue stripe down both sides and you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail too. Next, I've got a Battle Damage Atrociraptor figure. Check it out, you can turn on and off the Battle Damage with the click of a button. Here is a Pachycephalosaurus figure in the orange and green coloring, and it has an action. We press down on the tail and it headbutts. Check out this crazy looking dinosaur. I actually can't remember the name of it, so let me know in the comments below if you know what it is. Here is a super bright Velociraptor figure with the red and the green stripes on top. Plus, it's actually spring-loaded. Up next, I've got a Zunaceratops figure with the green and dark blue coloring. Check out those huge horns on the top of its head, too. Here's another spring-loaded Velociraptor. This one is brown, though. Up next is a small Parasaurolophus figure. And actually, what comes with this figure is a Dr. Ian Malcolm figure. <laughs> This is a Dimetrodon figure with a huge bright orange spine all the way down its back. This figure is the baby Brachiosaurus with the light green and darker green coloring on top. Here I've got a Monolophosaurus figure with the brown and gray detailing. From Jurassic World Dominion, this is another Atrociraptor figure. This one has the orange and the tan striping. I've also got a miniature Pyroraptor figure here. This one has the classic red and black coloring along with a feather texture along all of its body. I've also got some more miniature Velociraptor figures in here. This first one has an action button on its back to swing its arms back and forth. And I've also got this bright yellow and brown Velociraptor figure too. It's got some battle damage right there on the side. This unusual figure is a Minmi dinosaur. It's got the spikes all the way down its back and on top of its head. This next figure is a baby T-Rex, and it comes with an action. When you move its tail, it chomps its jaw open and closed. And here we've got a miniature Pteranodon figure. Plus it has an action button on its back to flap its wings. Let's open up some brand new ones next. Let's see what this one is. These are a bunch of uncaged wild pop-ups. First up, we've got Velociraptor Blue. Next up is a Dilophosaurus. There's also a Carnotaurus. And best of all, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next up, I've got a new Jurassic World Dominion Triceratops figure. Let's check it out. This Triceratops has the soft green body with the darker green and the orange in the front. Let's move on to our second bin here. This figure is the Siamosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got a button right on its tail to activate the jaw. Up next is the Ampelosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It has a super long neck and an action button to activate the jaw. Here is a really cool looking T-Rex. This is a custom colored T-Rex to look like fire. And of course, it's got the button at the top of its head to open and close its jaw. Here is the Scorpios Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. It's got two action buttons, one to activate its jaw and one to activate its arms. This is a battle damage Baryonyx figure. You can check out that battle damage on its neck and on its leg, and it has an action button on its back for chomping. This interesting looking dinosaur is an Amargo Spinus. This dinosaur also has a long neck and some amazing looking spines on its back. Here is the Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex with the battle damage edition. You can click the battle damage on and off just with the button on top. Here's a vintage Jurassic World figure. This one is actually a hybrid T-Rex. I think it's mixed with a Spinosaurus. Check it out. It's got some spines that pop out right at the top of its back. 
Next up, we've got the amazing Therizinosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. You can use the tail to swivel its body around and use the action button on its tail to open and close the jaw. Next up, we've got a Stegosaurus figure in the light blue-green color. Plus, it has an action button. When you press down here, it swings its tail back and forth. Here's one of the largest Atrociraptor figures that I have. This one comes in the classic white with brown striping. I've got another extreme battle damage T-Rex here, but instead of battle damage shown right here, there's actually painted battle damage all over its body. Next up, I've got a Sarcosuchus figure. This dinosaur is really long and short, and you can use the tail to control the head. Here's another T-Rex figure. This one is in a soft brown with darker brown along the top, and of course, the action button at the top of the head to operate the jaw. Next up, this figure is the Giganotosaurus. It has two action buttons, one to swing its torso, and one to open and close the jaw. This is the Endoraptor with the gold stripe and the black body, and it is a very poseable dinosaur figure. This is the basic Velociraptor blue figure. You can move its arms, its legs, and its tail, and of course, it's got the awesome iconic coloring. From the Hammond collection here, we've got the Baryonyx figure. It is very poseable, and it's got some awesome coloring too. Here's a crazy looking dinosaur. This is a special edition Ankylosaurus figure. It actually has a removable shell. I've also got the regular edition Ankylosaurus as well. This figure is from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus figure. Check it out, it's another Sarcosuchus figure, but this one has some different coloring with the purple, orange, red, and blue. Here is another Ceratosaurus figure, but this one is in the brown and orange coloring. Let's check out that chomping action. Here is a vintage Jurassic World Mosasaurus figure. It's a lot smaller than the figures that are coming out with now, and it's got some battle damage that you can open and close right on the side. Next up is one of the largest winged dinosaurs. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This figure has two action buttons, one to flap the wings and the other to open and close the mouth. This figure is super old. This is a Jurassic Park Spinosaurus figure. Here are a few small figures. These are both Gallimimuses. I've got another Dimetrodon figure in here. This one has an action. When you press down on its tail, it opens and closes its jaw. This winged figure is a Dimorphodon. Check out those fiery wings. From Camp Cretaceous, we've got a baby Ankylosaurus bumpy figure. This next figure is from Jurassic World Dominion. This is Amira Gaia. Check out those huge spikes coming out of its shoulders. Next up, we've got another classic Ceratosaurus figure. This one has the yellow, black, and red coloring. Here's another dinosaur with some huge spikes coming out of its back. This is a Sorrel Pelta. This next little dinosaur, I believe, is called a Coelurus. It's got a tan body with some brown and some blue detailing. Over here, we've got some Monolophosaurus figures, one in a soft green color, and it's got some battle damage on the side, and one in a dark blue with some tan coloring. I've also got some more Velociraptor figures in here. I've got a Velociraptor beta figure. Here's another spring-loaded, super bright Velociraptor figure. And a dark green Velociraptor in the stealth crawling pose. This next figure is a Carnotaurus, and this one is from Jurassic World Dominion. It's pretty unique because it's got the dark green body with the orange detailing, and it's also got a broken horn on the top of its head. Here is a Stigimaloc figure. It's got some gray and some dark blue coloring and some huge spikes coming out of its head. Plus, this figure has an action. When you press down on its tail, it activates the head buddy. 
Here we've got another aquatic dinosaur. I believe this one is called a Plesiosaurus, and it has one action button on its back to flap its flippers. And last of all, we've got a baby Triceratops figure in the light green coloring and some battle damage on the side that you can open and close. Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out all of my Jurassic World Dominion dinosaur figures. Let's get started with this classic ginormous T-Rex figure. This Dominion T-Rex has a dark brown body with the black along the top. It's got the barcode scanner right on its back right there. And it's got a pretty thick neck and a pretty big head compared to a lot of the other T-Rex figures. It's got some evil yellow looking eyes. It's got a mouthful of teeth, plus the mouth actually has a throat. So you can actually fit some miniature dinosaurs in there. It doesn't have a stomach compartment, but as you can see, you could probably fit a few small dinosaurs in there. And the coolest feature of this figure is that it's got a button on its tail to activate the jaw and you can move the tail to swing the torso around too. So it makes it look really lifelike. Next up, we've got a Mega Raptor figure. This is one of my newest figures that I bought fairly recently. It's pretty awesome. It's got those huge claws in the front. It's got a red and a dark blue body. It's got some feathering detailing along its back and along its head, as well as some white detailing right along its face. It's got the barcode scanner right on its back. You can twist the tail. The tail also has some cool looking feathers, which is pretty unique. And you can adjust the arms and legs of this figure. Plus there is a chomping action when you press down on its body. It's got some sound effects too. That's pretty cool. This I believe is the Majungasaurus figure. This dinosaur has a lighter underbelly, a dark green side and the brown detailing along the top. It's got some cool ridges right along its head, as well as the super tall orange ridge right on the top of its head. And you can move the arms and legs of this figure, as well as swivel the tail around to control the neck. And with this figure, you can actually adjust the standing pose by moving its legs. See how it leans down when you adjust the legs? That's a pretty cool feature. Not that many other figures that I have work like that. And of course, it's got the button on its tail to activate the jaw. This wild looking dinosaur is the Ichthyovenator. This dinosaur has a dark green body along its underside and on its sides, and it's got these super bright green detailing right along its spine and on its tail too. This is a pretty unique tail. This dinosaur has a long snout with a bunch of teeth inside. And the best part is that this dinosaur has an action when you press down on its body. It does a chomping action. Here we've got a ginormous Allosaurus figure. But not only that, this is an extreme battle damage Allosaurus. I think it's the only one I have that is a battle damage edition. This Allosaurus is almost as big as most of the T-Rex figures I have, which is unusual for an Allosaurus figure. And it's pretty adjustable. You can swivel the tail all around. You can move the legs and the arms. And there's a button on its back to activate the jaw too. But the coolest part is the extreme battle damage on its side. You can hide it completely, and then you can spring it open. It's spring-loaded, and you can even lift up the ribs to check out the insides underneath. I think that's its stomach right there. It's pretty squishy. That is really cool. And then you can close it up and hide it. This is the Atrociraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the dark red eyes and the brown striping, which is actually very similar to this super colossal Atrociraptor that I have back here. Look at that, they're pretty similar. On this little figure, its mouth is closed and you can't open it. But on this super colossal figure, it is a lot more adjustable. It has those same dark red eyes, the striping all along its body. And this super colossal figure has the stomach compartment so you can actually feed this huge figure smaller dinosaurs. This is the Ragosaurus figure in the dark blue edition. As you can see, most of its body is that dark blue gray color. It's got some white detailing along its neck, on its arms, and on its chin. It's got some big old spines right along the top of its neck. And this figure actually has a chomping action when you press down on its body. I've noticed that they're doing this chomping action for a lot of the new Jurassic World Dominion figures. And I've actually got another Ragosaurus figure with different coloring here. This one is dark brown along its body and undersides, and it's got the dark blue just along the top and along those spines right there. It's got the horn on the top of its head and that same chomping action when you press down on its body. 
Moving along, we've got the Sound Surge T-Rex figure. This figure is a lot smaller than most of the T-Rex figures I have, but you can swivel the tail around, you can move the legs and the arm, and you can open and close the jaw manually. You'll see that the tongue and lower teeth are not colored though, which is kind of a bummer, but it still has a cool feature that when you press down on the button, you get some T-Rex sound effects. Speaking of T-Rexes, I've got this huge, super colossal T-Rex figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure is ginormous, check it out. It has similar coloring as the first T-Rex that we saw in this video, but it has some cool features as well. Since it's a super colossal T-Rex, it has the stomach compartment, so you can feed this dinosaur, smaller dinosaurs, down its throat all the way to the stomach. And that is pretty cool. Next up, we've got a Giganotosaurus figure. I believe this is the Strike and Roar figure. It comes with two awesome functions. The first swings its torso and its head around for that chomping action. And the second button on the bottom of its tail opens and closes the jaw for roaring. That's pretty cool. That's some pretty wild movement. Over here in the corner, you may have already noticed, I've got another Giganotosaurus figure. This one is the Super Colossal Edition, and it is huge, just like the other Super Colossal figures. It's got the dark green body with the black detailing. It's got the huge jaw with some really pointy long teeth. And since it's a Super Colossal figure, it has the stomach compartment for feeding smaller dinosaurs. Next, I've even got some brand new figures that we're gonna open up on camera. This one was a bit damaged in shipping, as you can see. This is the Velociraptor Blue and Atrociraptor pack. Let's check it out. Here is the Atrociraptor Blue pack. You move its neck up and down. You can open and close its jaw, as well as move its arms and its legs. And here is the super bright orange and white Atrociraptor. And this Atrociraptor has the same movements as Velociraptor Blue. You can move the neck up and down, you can open and close the jaw, and move the arms and legs too. And it's got the barcode scanner right at the top of its back too. This is the Sound Surge Carnotaurus figure. It's pretty basic in design and not a ton of coloring. It's like almost completely red. It's got a little bit of white underneath its chin. And like the other Sound Surge figures, its tongue and its lower teeth are not colored, which is a bit of a bummer. But let's check out those sound effects that you can activate by pressing this button on its back. Here is the basic Pyroraptor figure. This figure is a dark red color with some black along its tail and its legs as well as some black detailing right along its face too. And on this figure, you can only move its arms, its legs, and its tail a little bit. Speaking of Pyroraptor, I've got this ultimate uncaged Pyroraptor. Let's open it up and check it out. Here is the uncaged Pyroraptor, and this figure is huge! This Pyroraptor has sensors all over its face and on its chin, so you actually can do quite a bit with this figure. There's a training mode, there's a play mode, there's a wild mode. So let's check it out and uh, see what kind of sound effects it comes with. Wow, that's pretty cool. I think it's in wild mode right now. Because it's roaring a lot at me. All right, now its eyes turn blue. Let's see what happens when I touch those sensors. Wow, there's so much you can do with this thing. You can even train this Pyroraptor. Which it's not, it's not obeying me right now, so it's obviously not trained right now. But that's pretty cool. I could spend a lot of time on this figure. You gotta check it out for yourself. Over here, we've got the Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor figure. This figure is also battery operated. Let's see what happens when you tap the top of its head. 
So it's got some sound effects and it can open and close its jaw too. That's pretty neat. Over here, we've also got the Rowdy Roars Dilophosaurus figure. This one is also battery operated. So let's check that out. Let's see what sound effects this one can make too. That's pretty cool. Here is another Giganotosaurus figure. This is the Sound Surge Edition. So it's a bit smaller than many of the other Giganotosaurus figures. And it's fairly adjustable. You can open and close the jaw and move the arms, the legs, and the tail. And of course, it's got the sound effects too. This is the Extreme Damage Dimetrodon. It has a light green body and the super bright spine on its back and it's got the battle damage right on its side that you can turn on and turn off with the click of a button. Here is a smaller Carnotaurus figure. This one is dark green and orange, and it is pretty adjustable. You can move the neck, you can open and close the jaw, and you can move all the limbs as well. We've got a couple small Atrociraptor figures in here. Here is the classic white with brown striping Atrociraptor. And over here, we've got a light tan Atrociraptor with brown striping that's in a crawling pose. That's pretty cool. Next up, we've got an extreme battle damage Velociraptor. This Velociraptor has a white underbelly and sides with the dark blue on top and the extreme battle damage right on the side that you can turn on and off. And this final dinosaur is an extreme battle damage Coelurus. It has the dark green body with the red legs, tail, and head. And it's got the extreme battle damage just like the Velociraptor that you can turn on and off. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we're checking out not just one, but two bins of Jurassic World figures. There are 100 Jurassic World figures in here. Let's get started with this bin on the right. First up is this hybrid Indominus Rex figure. Even got sound effects too. Plus, there's spikes that come out on its back too. This is an extreme battle damage orange Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got the battle damage all over its body and there's an action at the top of its head to activate the jaw. Next up is the Stomp and Escape T-Rex. This T-Rex has a button on its back for the jaws and you can use the tail for a stomping action. Here's another Indominus Rex figure. This one has a rubber neck while the rest of its body is a hard plastic and you can use the arms to open and close the jaws. Over here, we've got a Terran T-Rex. This T-Rex is pretty cool because it has a button that activates the tearing action with its mouth. Look at that. That's pretty intense. And there's another button on its back to activate the tail. Over here, we've got a really cool Spinosaurus figure. This figure is pretty big, and it's got some awesome coloring and detailing all over its body. And like many of the other large figures, it has a button on the top of its head to activate the jaw. This, I believe, is called the Seats Micorerum. It's got an orange and blue body with some great detailing as well. It's got tons of spikes on its head, and you can use the tail to control the mouth and the neck. This is an orange Velociraptor. It's a pretty basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail, but it's pretty large and still pretty cool. Here is a huge Allosaurus figure. This has the classic coloring for many of the Allosaurus figures, and best of all, it's got battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. This is a T-Rex figure, but with some cool coloring. It's got the red and the black spots all over its body and the light underbelly as well. Plus it's got an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Here's a similar T-Rex of the same size, but with totally different coloring. And actually this one is a hybrid T-Rex because it has spines that pop out of its back, just like that. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus figure. This figure is medium size and it has one action button on its back to activate the chomping action. This is an Albertosaurus figure. It's got the dark green body with orange detailing, and you can use the tail to control the head and jaw on this figure. Here is a medium-sized Velociraptor figure. It's a lot bigger than many of the Velociraptor figures that I have, and I actually have a few other that are very similar to it as well. Check these out. They're all around the same size and have many of the same features, 
This one is a light tan with green stripes. This one's darker colored. And this one actually has some battle damage on its side that you can press. I believe this dinosaur is a Pachycephalosaurus. It's got a dark purple coloring with some detailing along the top and an action button with its tail for the headbutting. Next up, we've got a smaller Indominus Rex figure with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. That's pretty cool. Plus, you can use the tail to control the head on this figure too. Next up, I believe this is the Nasudoceratops figure. It's got the dark blue body with some different coloring all throughout. It's got those huge horns in the front and two action buttons, one to lift up its head and one to swing its tail. This is a huge Pteranodon figure. It's pretty basic because it can't do a whole lot, but it has some pretty cool coloring on the wings. You can move the wings up and down as well as open and close the mouth. I've got another winged dinosaur here, but I'm actually not sure what type of dinosaur this is. So let me know in the comments below. This big dinosaur, I believe, is called an Amargosaurus. It's got two huge ridges on its neck that go all the way down its back to its tail, and it has two action buttons, one to operate the neck and one to operate the tail. Here is another huge Velociraptor figure. This one is actually Velociraptor Blue. It's got these stripes down its side, and you can move the arms, the legs, and the tail on this figure. This is the basic Scorpios Rex figure. It's got the poisonous quills on its tail, and you can move the arms and legs on this figure too. Next up is the Pentaceratops figure. This figure is pretty close to a Triceratops, but it's got a huge frill on the front and a ton more horns too. You can use the action button to lift up its neck and to swing its torso around too. Here's a couple more medium-sized Velociraptor figures. This first one is a dark green with black stripes. And this other one is a lot brighter and it actually has battle damage on its side as well. That's pretty cool. Plus with this figure, you can use the tail to open and close the jaw. Here is a Triceratops figure with the clay red coloring and the brown on the top. And it's got one action button to lift up the head. This next figure, I believe is the Sinoceratops. Also looks quite a bit like a Triceratops as well, but again, some big differences in the front. And with this figure, you can use the tail to control the head. Next up is the giant Quetzalcoatlus dinosaur. This winged dinosaur is from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie and has a few action buttons on it. The first action button you can press to flap its wings, and the second button activates its jaw. <laughs> Here's a Dimetrodon figure with the light blue-gray coloring on the sides and the giant red spine on top. Check out these smaller dinosaurs. I think these are both called Proceratops. We've got one with the purple coloring and a little bit of yellow. The other one is light green with also some yellow coloring as well. This is a dark green and light green Sauropelta with those huge spikes coming out of its back. Here is a smaller carnivore dinosaur. This is a Herrerasaurus, and it's got an action button with its tail that opens and closes its jaw. Here is a Styracosaurus figure. It's got those two super bright circles right on the front and tons of horns around its head too. Here is the Shringosaurus figure. It's pretty odd looking. It's got the yellow body with the brown detailing on top and a super long neck and some horns at the very top. This is the Miragaya figure. It's got a dark body with some lighter coloring in the back and those two giant horns sticking out of its back too. Here's a smaller Triceratops figure with battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. This is a Stigimaloc figure with the dark brown coloring on the sides and some darker detailing along the top, plus an action button to activate the headbutting action. This is a Parasaurolophus figure. This is a newer one, I think from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the light tan body with some darker detailing right along the top. Here's another Pachycephalosaurus figure with a light tan body and the darker coloring along the top and the action button on its tail to activate the head button. This is a baby Brachiosaurus figure. It can move the neck up and down as well as move the legs and open and close the jaw too. 
And here are two Gallimimus figures, one with a dark green coloring and one with a light tan and brown coloring along the top. We've got one more bin to go, but before we do, let's check out these brand new ones that I just bought, including this giant Dreadnoughtus figure. Let's open this one up first. All right, here is the Dreadnoughtus fully assembled. It's actually really hard to show even the whole thing on camera because it is so long. This neck is a lot longer than a Brachiosaurus, I think. Let's check out the head first. You can open and close its mouth. And you can move the neck back and forth. See that swivel right there? You can adjust the legs and you can even move the tail back and forth too. This figure is ginormous and it has some pretty cool coloring along the top and the sides as well. This next figure I think is pronounced the Rugops Primus figure. It's from the ferocious pack of Jurassic World Dominion. This is a pretty cool looking figure. It's got the dark green body with the black tail and the black detailing around its head. And you can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the head as well. Next up is the Jurassic World Herrerasaurus figure. This figure has a lighter green body with some teal blue coloring along the top, while its face is that dark green color too. You can open and close the jaws manually, and you can move all the other limbs as well. <laughs> Next is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Here is Dr. Ian Malcolm with his fiery torch, and it also came with this small dinosaur. I can't remember the name of this dinosaur, but it's a pretty cool set. And next, we've got the Camp Cretaceous Soundstrike Pteranodon. All right, let's unfold those wings. This is a pretty big dinosaur. It's probably a foot long from wingtip to wingtip, and it's got a few action buttons as well. The first one you can press to flap its wings and get some sound effects. And the second button activates its jaw. Now let's dig into this second bin. First off, we've got an Indominus Rex figure. This figure is huge and has the classic gray coloring that you can see in the movies. <laughs> Over here is another Pteranodon figure, but this one I believe is from the Amber Collection. So it's got rubbery wings and a whole lot more detail too. <laughs> this is another huge Spinosaurus figure. This one has the green body with the light underbelly, but it's still got the red spine and the red detailing around its face too. In the back here, we've got a T-Rex figure with the camouflage coloring. That's pretty cool. And this T-Rex has two actions. You can pull up on its tail for a chomping action, or you can pull down on the tail for a roaring action. Here is a T-Rex figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It's got a rubbery tail and a chomping action when you lift up its body. Here's another T-Rex figure with the gray and brown coloring on its body. It's very adjustable with its neck and its legs and its arms, and there's the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. This is a Carcharodontosaurus figure with the blue coloring on the sides and the brighter detailing along its back. And it's got an action button on its back for the chomping. Next is a Stegosaurus figure with the gray-blue body and the lighter underbelly. And this figure has an action button that when you press down right here, it swings its tail back and forth. Watch out for those spikes. This is an Allosaurus figure with a slide lever action on the top so you can get a bunch of different sound effects and different roaring poses too. Here is a Sucomimus figure with the blue body and the yellow detailing along the top. And this figure has one action button for the chomping. Here's one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. This figure has the red coloring on the side and the dark purple on top with an action button to activate the jaw and the neck. This, I believe, is another Cynoceratops figure. It's got the light green body with some yellow detailing on its tail and on the front as well. And when you press down on the back of this figure, it lifts its head up. 
This is another Allosaurus figure with different coloring. It's got the gray body with the yellow detailing. You can move all of its limbs and it has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. This is a Ceratosaurus figure with the gray coloring on the bottom and some brown and red all the way up to the top of its face. Here is one of my largest Endoraptor figures. This figure has a few different actions. First, there's a button on its tail to activate the arms. You can use the tail to swivel the torso around, and there's a button on the bottom of the tail to activate the jaw. Next up, we've got a huge Dilophosaurus figure with the bright red coloring and the even brighter frills in the front. This is a pretty basic figure though, so you can't do too much with it. You can move the arms and legs and the tail a little bit. Here is the Iguanodon figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the light tan body with some lighter striping along the top, and when you press down on this Iguanodon, it lifts its head up and down. Next up is a Cryolophosaurus figure. This figure has some darker coloring along its body. It's also got some brighter red detailing all the way up to the crown on the top of its head. And you can use the tail to swing the neck back and forth too. Way over here, I believe this dinosaur is called the Kentrosaurus. It looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it's got these huge spikes coming out of its side. And this figure has a slide lever action on its back to swing those spikes back and forth. Here is a Triceratops figure in the brown and blue coloring. Plus you can use the tail on this dinosaur to control the neck. All right, we've got a Baryonyx figure in here. This one has the light brown and the dark gray blue coloring and there's an action button on its back to activate its jaws. We've got another Baryonyx figure in here, but this one is super bright. It's got the bright green coloring along its side and bottom, and the brown along the top, plus that action button to activate its jaw too. Here's a pretty rare dinosaur. This is the Edmontosaurus. It's got some pretty cool coloring along its body, and you can use the tail to control the neck. Next up, we've got a Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This one is the bright orange and brown Velociraptor, and it is super poseable. Here is an older Ankylosaurus figure. This one is actually a hybrid, and it has special armor plating that you can take on and off. Plus, it has an action button that when you move this leg, it swings its tail back and forth and moves its head, too. I've got a few mini T-Rex figures in here. These are also older figures from the first Jurassic World movie. They're both pretty identical, but with different coloring, and they both have the action where you can move its jaw and its neck by moving the tail around. <laughs> Looks like I've got some more Velociraptor figures in here. Check out this one. This one is dark blue, but it has the yellow and gold coloring along the top of its head. I've also got these green Velociraptors too. This one is in the sneaking pose, and this one has some really cool detailing along the top of its body. These two figures are both Dilophosaurus figures. This one is the newer figure and is a bit smaller, but it does have an action button on its tail to activate the frills and open the jaw in the front, which is pretty cool. And this older Dilophosaurus figure, I believe from the first Jurassic World movie, it's a bit bigger, has battle damage on the side, and you can use the tail to move its neck. <laughs> Here's another Stegosaurus figure. This one has the brown, tan, and green coloring, and it also has an action button that when you press down right here, it swings its tail back and forth. Looks like I've got three more Ankylosaurus figures, all with different coloring. This first one is brown and has the green and gray coloring on the top, plus with an action button to swing its tail. This next Ankylosaurus has the clay red underside with the tan and brown on top. And this third Ankylosaurus has the yellow coloring on the bottom with the green and gray on top and a slide lever action to swing the tail back and forth. Here is another Dilophosaurus figure from the first Jurassic World movie, and this figure is super bright. Plus, it has the action on its tail to move its neck up and down. Here's another giant Stegosaurus figure. This one has a softer green-blue coloring, and it has the action button that you press down to swing its tail back and forth. Here's another Stegosaurus figure, but this one has the gray, brown, tan, and green coloring all over its body. And this one actually has two action buttons. The first one moves its head up and down. 
and the second one swings the tail back and forth. This is a Parasaurolophus figure with the light yellow coloring and the brown stripes, and it's got two action buttons. The first moves its head up and down, and the second swings its tail back and forth. We've got some more Velociraptor and Atrociraptor figures in here. First, we've got another Velociraptor blue figure. We've also got this purple and red Velociraptor. And we've got two Atrociraptor figures as well. We've got one that's tan and in the crawling pose, and we've got a bright orange red one with the white striping. Next up, we've got a Sauropelta figure in the clay red color that can swing back and forth, so you better watch out for those spikes. We've also got this Moros Intrepidus figure with the light green coloring and the orange on its tail too. Here's another small Indominus Rex figure. This one also has the battle damage on its side and you can use the tail to control its jaw and its neck too. <coughs> this is another Stigimaloc figure. This one does not have any action buttons, but you can move its legs, its arms, and its head around too. And here is also another baby Brachiosaurus figure. This one though has the gray and purple coloring right along the top. And last of all is this Herrerasaurus figure with the dark blue coloring and the lighter detailing on its back and all the way up to its head too. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge collection of Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Indominus Rex. First up, we've got the Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal T-Rex. This figure has a dark brown side and black top with the lighter underbelly, and it's got adjustable arms, legs, and a tail. And up front, I can tell that the plastic is a bit softer on its neck. The rest of its head is a hard plastic, and you can open it up way wide and you're able to actually swallow smaller dinosaurs down to the stomach compartment. That's pretty cool. Next up, we've got another super colossal figure. This is an Indominus Rex. It has the classic light gray body and is pretty detailed with all the spikes and the spines. It's got some spines up there. It's got some behind its elbows. It's got those super long claws on its hand. And just like the T-Rex, you can adjust the arms, the legs, you can swing the tail around. But on this figure, you can also twist the neck too. Here is the next figure. It's another super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has the light orange body with the lighter underbelly. And just like the Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex, the neck is actually a little bit softer. It's like a softer plastic right there. And you can move the arms, the legs, the tail, just like the other ones. And of course, this one has the stomach compartment for eating smaller dinosaurs. And we've got some brand new figures that we can open up first before we dive into the rest of them. This one is the PNSO Wilson the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is super detailed. Look at all that texturing on its body, all the various shades of colors. It's like lighter right here, there's darker shades. These are a lot more detailed than a lot of the Jurassic World figurines. But unfortunately, they're not as poseable. Usually you can only move their jaw. All right, let's dig in. This first Tyrannosaurus Rex is the Battle Damage Edition. It has the light orange body. You can see that there's scrapes and slashes all over its body, even on its face and nose. And it has a fully poseable body, plus the button at the top of the head for chomping. Over here, we've got an Indominus Rex, the Extreme Battle Damage Edition. With this one, you can actually turn the battle damage on and off. That's so cool. Each time that you press that button, it delivers a roar sound effect too. On the rest of the figure, the arms and the legs are fully adjustable. And there's a button at the tail that controls the jaw. Here we've got the epic Roarin' Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is light brown on the sides, dark brown on top, and the lighter underbelly. And the coolest part is the roar and shaking sound effects. Over here is the Jurassic World Chompin' Indominus Rex. This is a bit of an older figure. It's got the hard plastic on the back and the rubber on the neck and head. You don't see that too often nowadays. 
And for the chomping action, you pull down on the arms to open and close its mouth. I believe this figure is the bite and fight Tyrannosaurus Rex. As you can tell by the name, it has one big special feature. Press this button on its back and it does a tearing action. Swings its head around and closes its mouth real fast. And there is also a secondary button that swings its tail back and forth. I believe this figure is the destroy and devour Indominus Rex, but you'll notice that it has some custom coloring. So. This definitely does not look like your typical Indominus Rex. And this figure really pops out on my display shelves. My favorite part being those green eyes right there. Next up is the Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. As you can tell by the name, it has two features. The first, when you press this button on its back, it'll escape from its face cage. Just like that. And the second feature is stomping. When you twist the tail, it stomps its feet up and down. Comes with sound effects too. Here we have a classically colored destroy and devour Indominus Rex. This figure is pretty detailed over its body. It's got tons of spikes on its back. It's got those spines right along its neck. It's got some unique coloring along its eyes, right next to those orange eyes. And this figure has a few different features. First, when you bend the legs forward, it'll actually point its head down. And when you bend them back, it'll point its head upwards. Secondly, there's a button on its back that's used for slashing. And finally, there's a button on its tail for the chomping and roaring. Here is an extreme battle damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is pretty poseable. You're able to move the arms, the legs, and swing the tail around, as well as adjust the neck and open and shut the jaw by hand. But the coolest part is the battle damage that you can turn on and off, just like the Indominus Rex that we saw earlier. And you can see it on both sides. Next up, we've got the Extreme Chompin' Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has a more gray-brown coloring on the sides with a darker brown on top and the light underbelly and is adjustable just like many of the other figures. And it has the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. Here is another Indominus Rex, but this does not look normal. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. So this one has some pretty awesome and unique coloring along its body. It's the only Indominus Rex to have red on its body, I believe, as well as the gold on its arms and its belly. And this dinosaur has a few features. First is a hidden button that activates its spikes on its back. Secondly is the chomping action, which you activate by moving its arm. Here we have, I believe, another extreme chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one though has the orange body with the brown coloring on the top with the lighter underbelly. And of course, that chomping button right on the top of its head. This is the Stomp and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex. It has the typical orange body with the brown top and lighter underbelly. And what I really like about this figure is that you use the tail to control the head and the whole front of the body for chomping and for roaring too. Here we've got a model Indominus Rex, which I don't see that many of. But what I like about these models is that they're so much more intricately colored and textured. Check out those spikes on its back. They're so small on all those little spines and all those little horn things right along its back all the way to its tail. And just like many other model figures, you can't adjust the arms and legs. Only the mouth can open and close in these. But these sure look epic on a display shelf. Next up is the Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is one of the few Tyrannosauruses that I have that are this cool green color with the black detailing on the top. It has that same button on the top of its head for chomping. And this T-Rex actually came with a baby T-Rex in the same pack. So these came together. 
Here is a smaller Indominus Rex figure with a battle damage on the side that you can open and close. And while most of its body is that iconic gray color, it does have some gray green coloring along the top, which is different from most of my other Indominus Rex figures. Plus, this figure comes with a chomping action when you move the tail. The way at the bottom here, I've actually got the T-Rex anatomy kit. Now I am missing a few pieces to it. It's really easy to misplace these, but it's really cool that you can take this apart to check out all the different body parts within. You can take the ribs out, you can see this muscle on its tail and the bone behind it. And you can even take apart this foot right here and see what's underneath. How cool is that? This is the Bashers and Biters Indominus Rex figure. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line, and it has similar coloring to the rest of them, a little bit darker gray on top, got the battle damage on the side, and of course you can move the tail to control the face. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex figure, but I believe it is a juvenile or even a baby T-Rex. You can see it's got the mouth restraint on, because the humans are actually healing its leg. It's got a broken leg, so it's got this bandage around it. And this figure is very adjustable too. You can move all the limbs, even at the elbows. And of course you can move the tail and twist the head around and even open and close the mouth. This is the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. This is a lot smaller than most of the Indominus Rex figures, but it has quite a large face to it. And it has a few features. The first is when you press this button on its nose, get some sound effects. And the second is when you move the tail, it opens its mouth to eat, and then you can press down on its tongue to clamp shut its jaw. And last of all, I've got a few small figures in here. Got a Lego Indominus Rex figure, which is pretty cool. It's the only Lego figure that I have in this bin, at least. We've also got some miniature Tyrannosaurus Rex figures from Jurassic World. This one is green with a light underbelly. And the second one here is brown with a light underbelly as well. And I also have these two Indominus Rexes in this bin. The first one is white with silver, reflective silver on its top. And you can open and close the jaw. And the second one is a clear Indominus Rex. You can't move any parts on this figure, but I think it's pretty cool that it's see-through. I'm showing you all of my biggest Jurassic World dinosaur figures. I've got tons of different species in here, so let's get started. First up is the Super Colossal Indominus Rex. This figure has the classic gray coloring like you'll see in the movies. It's got a super textured and bumpy back. It's got the spines right along its neck right there. And it has a super scary looking set of teeth. Plus this figure is fully posable. You can move the tail. You can move the legs and the ankles, you can move the arms and the wrists, and you can twist the neck around too. This is the Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal Atrociraptor. This figure has a body shape very similar to the Velociraptors that we'll see later on. It's got the classic coloring like you'll see in the movie for an Atrociraptor. It's got a smaller and more narrow mouth than the Indominus Rex, and its teeth are a lot more evenly spaced too. It's got those red eyes, and this figure is fully posable. It can move the wrists and the arms. You can twist the neck back and forth ankles, the legs, and the tail as well. Next up is the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex with custom coloring. This T-Rex is super bright. It's got the bright red on the belly and the sides. It's got some yellow orange detailing right along the black and then the full black top. Plus it's got some more intricate detailing with the black and orange along its face too. And interestingly, there's no pupil in this T-Rex's eyes at all. So it makes it look a lot more scary and menacing looking. 
And you can even see that its teeth are dirty too. That's intentional to make it look a lot more realistic. And of course, this T-Rex is fully poseable as well with the arms, legs, neck, and the tail too. And what I didn't mention for the other ones yet is that all of these have the stomach compartment so you can actually feed these dinosaurs smaller dinosaurs all the way down the throat into their stomach compartment. So let's go ahead and feed this T-Rex a few small dinosaurs. And there they are. Here is another super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex with custom coloring. I believe this T-Rex used to be an orange Tyrannosaurus Rex, but now it is a soft blue gray color. It's got some darker feet and black nails. And the coolest part is it's got some blood red eyes too and black and silver teeth. That's pretty cool. I especially like the shading in this dinosaur because it really brings out the texture and all the wrinkles in its skin. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and feed this dinosaur a few miniature dinosaurs as well. This is a super colossal Velociraptor. It's got a dark black body with some yellow striping down the sides and a light brown top. It's got some pretty cool detailing all over it too. You can see that there's some lighter specks in its skin and you can see the texture of its skin everywhere. Look at that. That's really cool. It's also got some massive claws on its hands and of course some massive claws on its feet as well. Look at the size of those things. It's almost as big as my thumb. And my favorite part of this Velociraptor is the color of its eyes. Look at how detailed that is. It's got some orange, it's got some gold, it's got some bright red in there and then the narrow pupil to make it look pretty menacing. And when you open up the mouth, you can see that it's got a fine set of teeth. They all look pretty clean and in place. That's pretty cool. Let's give this Velociraptor a little mini dino snack. This is another Velociraptor super colossal figure, but as you can probably already tell, it is Velociraptor blue. It's got the blue stripe all the way down to its tail on both sides of its body. It's also got those amazing gold, orange, and yellow eyes with the amazing detail. It's got the full set of teeth, and it's got some pretty cool texture all over its body too. The belly on this Velociraptor is actually a light yellow, and just like the other super colossal figures, it is fully poseable with the wrists, the arms, the legs, the tail, just all over its body. <laughs> This super colossal T-Rex, I believe, is from Camp Cretaceous. It's got the light orange body with the lighter underbelly and the brown top. It's also got some awesome texturing all over its body, some wrinkles and scars and scrapes make it look a lot more realistic. This T-Rex has yellow eyes and round pupils, which make it look a little bit less scary. And it's got the full set of teeth on the outside of its jaw. So when you close it, you can still see it on the outside as well. This figure is fully poseable as well, just like the other ones. So why don't we go ahead and give this T-Rex a mini dino snack. Here's a different dinosaur from what we've seen so far. This is an Apatosaurus. This figure is a bit smaller from the T-Rexes and other figures that we've seen in this video so far, but compared to a lot of the other Jurassic World figures, this thing is still huge. Most of its body is dark green. It's got some lighter green detailing along the top, and it's got a light tan green underbelly. With this figure, you can actually open and close the mouth. You can see some teeth in there, some tiny little teeth. It's got tons of detail around its face too. It's got wrinkles all over its eyes. It's got black eyes. You can move the head around. You can move the neck back and forth. You can move the legs up and down as well. And you can swing the tail back and forth too. We're in our last row of super large dinosaurs now. This is another super colossal T-Rex with different coloring than all the rest of them. You can see it's got some battle damage detailing along its neck and underneath its chin. The rest of its body is dark green. It's got some black detailing and stripes along the top and a lighter underbelly. And this figure has gold eyes too, which is pretty cool. Now with this figure, because it's so old, when you open it up, you'll see that there's not that many teeth left. That's because a lot of them broke off, sadly. And it actually came with sound effects originally when you opened up the jaw. It's kind of broken now, so you can't really hear them. Let's give this T-Rex a few mini dinosaurs as well. 
Next up, we've got the super colossal Carnotaurus Toro. This figure has the classic clay red coloring for the Carnotaurus with the brown coloring along the top. It's got a ton of little spikes and bumps along its back, as well as the iconic horns right above its eyes. It's also got some battle damage right on its nose too. And just like the T-Rex figures, the teeth are on the outside of the jaw, so when you close it, you can still see the teeth. It's kind of hard to notice, but it does also have black spots, little specks, all over its body to give it a little more texture and detail, too. See, like right there, you can see some. That's pretty cool. I like the attention to detail. Here is the Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus. This figure is a jungle green color with black detailing and stripes all over the top of its body. It's got this huge spike all the way down its back, all the way down its tail as well. And on its face, it's also got some unique features as well. It's got some ridges and some detailing right around its eyes. Its eyes are a gold color with the narrow pupil, making it look a lot more evil. It has similar teeth to the Indominus Rex in that they're longer, and when you close it, they fit together perfectly, which I think looks really cool. And all over its body, if you look closely, you can see scars and scrapes and battle damage from past battles, which I think is a really cool detail. Let's give a few miniature dinosaurs to this hungry Giganotosaurus. Next up, we've got the Brachiosaurus figure. This figure is super tall. I can't even get its head in frame when it's standing up straight all the way. But let's check out the details of its face. You can still open and close its mouth, and it's got some tiny little teeth in there. It's got the black eyes and this ridge right above its head, and this super long neck that you can move up and down, as well as adjustable legs and a tail too. Plus, the rest of its body has some pretty cool texturing and detailing. Although it is all brown, you can see that it's got some shading and some coloring to make it look a little more realistic. And next, we've got the Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal T-Rex. This is the newest Super Colossal T-Rex that Jurassic World has released. It's got the dark brown body with black striping and detailing along the top and the lighter underbelly. And just like the other T-Rex figures, it has the teeth on the outside of its jaw so that when you close the jaw, you can still see the teeth on the outside. This figure also has yellow eyes and the round pupil, and it has tons of detailing and bumps and texturing all over its face too. Here's a few miniature dinosaurs for this super colossal T-Rex. Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today I'm going to show you 100 Jurassic World dinosaur figures. So let's dig in. Let's start with this bin on the right. The very first one is a battle damage T-Rex with the orange body and the brown top. This T-Rex is dark green in color. It's got some black detailing along its back and it's got the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. This is the Yang Chuanosaurus from the Dominion series. It's got the green body with brown detailing and the orange crown on the top of its head. Here we've got another T-Rex with the soft brown body and the darker brown along the top. And of course the button on the top of its head for chomping and roaring. This Dominion figure is a Siamosaurus. It's got a dark body with the red spine and the red head. Up next, we've got a T-Rex figure, but this is actually a hybrid T-Rex. You can tell because it has spines that pop out of its back by pressing this button. And the jaw opens and closes as well. Here is another T-Rex figure, but this is a gray-brown T-Rex. It's got some darker brown along the top. It's very adjustable, and you can open and close the mouth too. Way back here is a camouflage T-Rex. It's got some sound effects too. You can open and close the mouth, and you can do a chomping effect too. This is a sarcosagus. It's got some short legs, but it's got the blue body with purple and orange detailing on the top. 
This super bright dinosaur is another T-Rex. It is custom colored, so it is a bright red. It's got some orange and black as well. <laughs> Over here is a Scorpios Rex that I'm sure you recognize from the Jurassic World movie. It has two action buttons, one for the jaw and one for the arms. Next up, we've got a Tarbosaurus figure. This is gray and a darker gray. It's got those huge spikes along its spine and it's got the red chin and neck too. This is a Seatz Microrarum. It's got the orange body with the blue detailing on its back and head and it's got some gray detailing along the back of its body. Back here is a Carcharodontosaurus with the blue body and the brown and orange detailing along its back all the way up to around its eyes. Here is a Rajasaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It has a dark body with some lighter coloring along its neck and it has an action button for chomping. Next up, we've got an old Indominus Rex figure. This one is smaller. It's got some battle damage on the side that you can open and close and you can use the tail to chomp the mouth. Here is a super bright dinosaur. This is the Suchomimus. It's got a bright yellow body with the brown detailing along its spine and it has two action buttons. One for the jaws and one to swing the tail. Here is another bright dinosaur. This is a Metriocanthosaurus. It's got the bright red body with some brown detailing on its back and some orange on its head. Here's another Metriocanthus figure. This has a yellow body with some green coloring along the top and it has the action button on its back for the jaw. This is a super cool looking Allosaurus figure. It's got the gray body with the yellow detailing all over. It's got some awesome looking red right above its eyes and it's got an action button for the jaw. Right over here is the Majingasaurus with a green, yellow, and blue body and you can use the tail to control the neck. Here is a Cryolophosaurus figure. This has a bright yellow body with brown detailing and orange along the top of its body. Here's another small Indominus Rex figure. This has battle damage on the side that you can't open or close, but you can still use the tail to open and close the mouth. Next up is the Irritator. This has a brown, blue, and light blue body, and you can use the tail to control the neck. I've got a Baryonyx figure here with a brown, blue, and orange coloring on its body, and it's got an action button on its back for the jaw. <laughs> Next up is another Allosaurus figure. This one has a brown and blue body, and it has a slide lever action to control the jaw. This Jurassic World figure is a Baryonyx. It's got the gray, white, and blue detailing on its body, and it has the slide lever action to control the jaw, too. Next up, I've got the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus. This figure is a light tan color. It's got some bright orange running all the way down its back. And of course, it's got the iconic horn at the top of its head. <laughs> Here is another Hammond Collection figure. This is the Baryonyx. It is super adjustable and poseable, and it's got some pretty cool detailing all along its body. This is a basic Spinosaurus figure. It's got the dark green body with some white detailing, and of course, the red along its spine and all around its eyes. Here is the Ceratosaurus figure in the dark green coloring with black detailing on the top and the slide lever action to control the jaw. Here is another Ceratosaurus figure, but this one is in the brown and orange coloring, and it's got a button at the top of its back to control the jaw. Next up, we've got the Extreme Chompin' Carnotaurus. This is a little figure, but it has a huge head, and it has a button to control the eyes, and a button for chomping, too. This figure is from the Amber Collection. I believe this one is Velociraptor Tiger. As you can tell, it's got the stripes all over its body with the orange, making it a pretty bright dinosaur. I've got a few Dimetrodon figures in here too. This first one is a light blue with a red spine. I've also got this green Dimetrodon with an even brighter red spine. Yeah. Here is a small Carnotaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. 
Next up, I've got a few Monolophosaurus figures. This first one is a soft green color with darker detailing, and this other figure is a brown Monolophosaurus with gray detailing on its body. Here is a baby Brachiosaurus in the light green color. <laughs> Got a couple horned small dinosaurs here. This first one is the Zunaceratops. It's got some bright coloring on the side of its body. And this one is the Battle Damage Triceratops. I've got a few small Dilophosaurus figures in here as well. This first one is brown, blue, and white, especially on the front. And this other one is a soft green. It's got some orange, red, and yellow on its body. This is the Battle Damage Coelurus figure. You can see that you can press this button on its back to activate the battle damage on the side. Let's see what else I got. I've got another Monolophosaurus figure. This one is a bright green color. It's got some red on the front. And this is a Herrerasaurus. It is a gray blue color with the white detailing along the top of its body. Of course, I've got a few Velociraptor figures in here in this first bin. This first one is a green color. It has a button on its back to activate the arms. And this second Velociraptor figure has its legs spring-loaded, so you can actually launch it into the air. And the last ones in this first bin, we still have one more bin to go. I've got a handful of herbivore figures. This first figure is a Minmi in the green coloring. I've also got a Sora Pelta in the red and gray coloring with the huge spikes. Here is Ankylosaurus Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. And can you guess the name of this herbivore dinosaur? Let me know down in the comments below. Now it's time for this second bin that will complete my 100 Jurassic World dinosaur figure haul. And I've actually got some brand new ones that we're gonna open up before we get into the bin. This first one is the Pro Ceratosaurus figure. All right, so this figure is mostly red. It's got some yellow detailing along the top of its back and neck, and it's got some lime green eyes too. It's pretty cool. Next up is the Jurassic World Velociraptor figure. This Velociraptor is orange in color. It's got some brown detailing along the top and it's got those bright yellow eyes. Next up is the Jurassic World Atrociraptor figure. This Atrociraptor figure is the white and brown one that I'm sure you recognize from the movie and it's got those evil looking red eyes. And next up, we've got the Jurassic World Pyroraptor. I'm sure you recognize this figure from the Jurassic World Dominion movie as well. It's got a black and red body, and it's got those yellow-orange eyes, too. Here we've got the small Sound Surge Giganotosaurus. It still has the green coloring with the black detailing along the top, and it comes with some sound effects. Here is another Giganotosaurus figure, but a whole lot larger. Still has the same coloring with a bit more detail with the black, I think. And it's got two actions. The first is for swinging the torso back and forth. And the second is for the jaws. This is a Spinosaurus figure that is dark green in color, just like the one we saw earlier. And it has the red detailing along its spine and all over its head too. Next up, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. It is tan in color and it has a button on its back to activate the jaw. Here we've got another Carcharodontosaurus figure. We saw one earlier that had totally different coloring. This one is tan in color and it's got brown and orange detailing all along its back up to its head. This is a giant Indominus Rex figure with extreme battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off by pressing a button. I've got another Indominus Rex figure here. This one does not have the battle damage on the side, but instead the button activates the claws for slashing. Here's one of my coolest Spinosaurus figures. It has the most intricate detailing and coloring out of all of my Spinosaurus figures. It's got some blue on the spine. Its eyes are a bright green color. And of course, it's got the button on the top of its head for opening and closing the jaw. 
Here's another sarcosagus figure. This one is green on the sides and belly and clay red along the top. <laughs> Next up is an Allosaurus figure. This one is dark green with white and red detailing along its back and neck. And it's got the slide lever action to activate the jaw and sound effects. This is the Endoraptor. This figure actually has two actions. The first is on its tail. When you press that, it swings its arms shut. It's also got a button on the bottom of its tail to activate the jaw and you can use the tail to swing the torso around too. This is a Mega Raptor figure from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. It's got some huge claws in the front and it's got a red and blue body. Down here, we've got a Stegosaurus figure that is gray blue and it has some darker detailing along the top. And it has an action button to activate the tail for swinging back and forth. Here is another Scorpios Rex figure, but this is the basic edition, so you can't open and close the jaw, but you can still move the arms, the legs, and the tail. Back here is the Ampelosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got a bright clay red body with the brown detailing on top, and you can use the tail to control the neck and the jaws too. I believe this dinosaur is called an Amargosaurus. It's got the brown body with black detailing and the red all along its neck down to its tail too. And it's got two action buttons, one to activate the neck and one to activate the tail. This is a big Velociraptor blue figure. You can see the iconic blue all the way down its back and of course the yellow eyes too. Here we've got another Allosaurus figure. This one is tan, dark blue, and bright blue, and it has two action buttons, one for the jaw and one for the arms. Here is a large Dilophosaurus figure. It has a battle damage button on the side, and it's got some super bright colors all over. It's got green, yellow, orange, and it's got some brown detailing all along its body too. If I remember correctly, this is an Iguanodon figure. It's got some detailing of tan and darker brown along the top, and it has an action button that moves its head up and down. This is a hybrid Triceratops Stegosaurus. It's got some battle damage on the side, and its entire body is super bright. It's got blue, it's got dark blue, and it's got a bunch of gold all over its body too. This is a Suchomimus in the dark blue color with the yellow detailing along its spine. And it's got one action button to activate the jaw. I've got another large Velociraptor figure in here. This one is the orange color and this actually might be the same one that I opened up earlier on. It's got the brown detailing on the top and the yellow eyes too. This figure I believe is the Proceratosaurus. It's got a tan body with gray detailing and the red nose and orange eyes. Here we've got another Stegosaurus figure. This one is in a light blue green color. It's got darker detailing along the top. And of course it's got the action button for swinging the tail back and forth. This is a Triceratops figure. It's got the clay red coloring with the brown detailing and it's got an action button on its back to move the head up and down. This is a small Spinosaurus figure, and it is super brightly colored with the blue and red along its spine. It's also got some battle damage, and you can use the tail to move the head around too. I've got two small T-Rex figures in here. This first one though is actually a hybrid T-Rex, a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus, and it's got this super bright orange and gold all over its body. And this second smaller T-Rex figure is green with the battle damage on the side, and you can use the tail to control the mouth, just like the other one. Our second to last dinosaur is a hybrid Stegosaurus Triceratops. This one is brown in color, it's got some yellow detailing on its legs, and it's got the battle damage on the side. And our final dinosaur of the 100 Jurassic World dinosaur figures is the Nasutoceratops, with the dark blue body, it's got the green legs, and the red detailing along the top. Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaur figures that were released as part of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. I've got tons of these dinosaurs, so let's dig in. First up, we've got some new ones that I just bought that we're gonna check out first. The first one is the Endoraptor. 
So this Endoraptor figure is probably medium sized, not as big as most of the T-Rex figures. It's got the all black body with the gold striping right along the side, just like the movies. And this figure is super poseable. You can move basically every joint in its body as you could in real life. You can open the jaw, the neck, the arms, the legs, the tail. It's got two joints. It's got some quills on its back and on the top of its head too. And of course, it's got those red eyes. Next up, we've got the Dino DNA Lab Kit with the Dimorphodon. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, here we go. So here is the Dimorphodon. It's gray in color, and then it's got that maroon purplish coloring on the bottom of its wings, and it's pretty adjustable. And we've got the Dino DNA kit. Comes with the slime, too. Let's go ahead and put this in. All right, here's the slime, and it goes into the canister. Oops, didn't quite fit. And then you stick this dinosaur skull into the slime. And there you go. It is now on display. Plus, you can actually open up the canister to let the goo slide out of the side. That's pretty cool. And next up, we've got another Dino DNA Lab Kit. This is the Velociraptor Pack, so let's open it up and check it out. Here is the Velociraptor. It looks like it is in a sneaking pose, crawling along the ground. It's got a light green color, and it's pretty poseable with all its limbs and jaw. And of course, you've got the DNA kit right here. Let's put that slime in. And finally, let's put the skull in. Looks like this kit comes with the same skull. And there we go. Exact same as the other one. It's got the opening on the side to let out the goo. And you can close it back up and put it on display. Next up. We've got the Legacy Collection Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus. This has the dark green body and the iconic red along the spine and the face too. And of course, it's got that chomping action. This is the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. This dinosaur can be controlled by moving its tail all around to control its neck, its head, and its jaw. Right over here, we've got the giant Mosasaurus figure. They've actually come out with a new one since then that has different coloring, but this is the original one for Fallen Kingdom. This one has a lighter blue coloring on the side and the top compared to the newer one and the white underbelly. And on this figure, the tail actually doesn't move. That's only with the newer Mosasaurus figures. Here, we've got the basic figure of the Endoraptor. It has the same awesome coloring as the one we opened up earlier, but the limbs cannot move around as much. As you can see, you can only move them somewhat. You can't move the elbows, you can't move the knees. It's kind of stuck in this crawling, sneaking pose. This is the Action Attack Suchomimus. It's got a bright blue color on the bottom and the sides, and the yellow detailing on the top. And it's got one action button on its back for chomping. Next up is the Roarivore Allosaurus. It's got the gray body with yellow detailing on top, and you can move the arms and the legs, and there's an action button on its back for chomping the jaw. This is the Roarivore Ceratosaurus. It has a light yellow body with the black and red detailing on the top, and the iconic horn right there on its nose. Plus, it's got an action button on its back to chomp the jaw. Right here, we've got a basic figure of the Dilophosaurus. It's got the soft green body with the red frills. And you can open and close the frills and move the limbs a little bit, but they're not very adjustable. This is another basic figure from Jurassic World. This is a Velociraptor with the orange body and the brown top. And just like the Dilophosaurus, the limbs are slightly adjustable, but it's pretty basic. Way down here, we've got an extreme chopping T-Rex. This is part of the Legacy Collection, I believe. And it has the orange body with the light underbelly. It's got the button on the top of its head for chomping. Here's one that I actually haven't shown that much. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Anatomy Kit. As you can see, you can take it all apart and check out its insides. See, it's got, I think that might be the stomach, that's the intestines, you can see the muscle of the tail, you can see the bone behind it, and even on its leg that you can take off, you can take this apart and see what's inside. 
So there you've got the bone, got more muscle. It's pretty cool. This is the Action Attack Carnotaurus. It's got the dark red body, lighter underbelly, and it's almost like a purple color along the top with all of those bumps along its spine. And this dinosaur has a jaw snapping action. It's really fast. This dinosaur is the Action Attack Stegosaurus. It has a light blue body with a darker blue along the top, and this figure has a tail swinging action. Next up, we've got the Roarivore Cynoceratops. This dinosaur has some pretty cool patterning along its whole body. I really like that orange right on the top. And this figure has a head shaking action for roaring. This is a pretty big winged dinosaur. This is the Roarivore Pteranodon. This figure has a dark blue body with the red and white wings, and it's got a button on its back for the wing flapping. This is the Legacy Collection Velociraptor with the jumping action. The legs are spring-loaded, so when you press down on its body, it'll actually spring up into the air. And this is a super bright Velociraptor. I love the bright orange on this figure. Next up is the Battle Damage Triceratops. This is a smaller figure. It's green all over its body. It's got a little bit of light brown on the top. And most importantly, it's got the Battle Damage on the side that you can flip open and closed. Looks like we got a few more pteranodons in here. First one is a light gray color. It's got some dark blue detailing on the wings and on the face, and it's got a button on its back to flap its wings. And this second pteranodon is a dark green color with yellow accenting. And just like the other, it has a button on its back for flapping the wings. Here is another basic figure. This is Velociraptor Blue. This figure is about medium size and it's fairly adjustable, but since it's a basic figure, you only can do so much with the arms and the legs. Over here, we've got the Roarivore Baryonyx. This has a light brown body with a dark blue gray coloring on top. And the coolest part is this reflective blue right along the top of its head. Plus this figure has an action button on its back for chomping and roaring. Here is another Baryonyx figure, but this one I believe was actually part of a Lava Surge playset. This one has the bright orange coloring on the top of its nose, while the rest of its body is light brown and dark blue gray, just like the other one. And of course, it's got the action button on its back for chomping and roaring. <laughs> Here is the Roarivore Metriacanthosaurus. This has a green yellow coloring along the side and bottom with a darker green along the top and it's got a button on its back for chomping. Right over here is the Roarivore Triceratops. This has a clay red color with the brown detailing along the top, and it's got a button on its back for the roaring. This figure is the Roarivore Ankylosaurus. It has the dark brown underbelly, it's got some green detailing along its shell and the gray and the white spikes too. And this figure has the button for swinging its tail back and forth. Let's see how many battle damage figures we have in here. I think I found four. I think that's about it. Let's check them out. This first one is Apache Cephalosaurus, the green body and the orange top. And of course the battle damage right there on the side. Next up, we've got a yellow Velociraptor with brown detailing along the top and the battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. As well as another Velociraptor, looks like Velociraptor Blue with the battle damage on the side. And finally, a green Herrerasaurus with the battle damage on the side and a little bit of orange brown detailing along the top. We've got tons of Velociraptors in here. Let's check these out. This first one is a blue and gold Velociraptor, and on its head is actually pretty reflective, which is awesome. Then up next, we've got the classic Velociraptor blue figure, and of course you can open and close its jaw and move many of its limbs around. Then we've got this red Velociraptor and this green Velociraptor. Both have movable limbs, and you can open and close both of their jaws too. 
Here we've got a few Dilophosauruses. This first one is light green with the yellow and red frills in the front. It's got some brown coloring on its back. And this second Dilophosaurus is a dark brown color with blue detailing on the back and its frills are white and like a dark green color. Next up, we've got the green Minmi figure. This figure has spikes all over the top of its shell for protective covering. And it looks like we've got a couple more Dimorphodons in here too. This one has the gray and maroon coloring just like the one we saw earlier at the beginning of the video. And this figure is dark green and has orange and red coloring along its wings. That's pretty cool. I definitely like this coloring better. This, I believe, is a Protoceratops. It's got the light blue coloring with the yellow detailing along the top. Here is another jumping Velociraptor figure. This one is a bright blue coloring. And just like the other Velociraptor figure, you can press down on its body to bend the legs, and then you let go to let it spring up into the air. Next up is the Stiggy Milok Stiggy. This figure has the super hard head with the spikes right behind it and you can move its arms and its legs and its tail too. Mm. We've also got a few Gallimimuses in here. This first one is a blue-gray color with darker coloring along the top and it has adjustable legs, arms, and a neck. This second figure is a bit different. Its coloring is a bit more detailed all over its body, plus it's got an action button on its back to run its legs. And the final one is a light tan Gallimimus with darker brown detailing along the top. And just like the others, you can move the legs, the arms, and the neck. This is the Legacy Collection Pachycephalosaurus. And this figure has the head ramming action. And last but not least is the Proceratosaurus. It's a smaller figure with a dark brown coloring with a lighter underbelly. And it's got that red detailing right along its nose. And you can open and close its jaw and move its arms and legs. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.